Hi everyone, today I have the very first holiday makeup tutorial of the season and we're going to create this very taupey eye look with a bold lip. That's the best way I can describe it. I, I suck at describing things. <laughs> so let's get started with the tutorial. The very first thing I'm going to do is apply primer all over my face and I'm using Makeup Forever products for this. And then I'm going to move on to foundation. I'm also using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation which I'm going to review very very soon. And I'm mainly focusing it on the middle of my face and then kind of shearing it out. This happens to be the foundation that I'm wearing in a lot of my recent videos and I have to say I really like this just because it's almost undetectable on the skin especially in front of the camera. Now we're moving on to concealer. I'm just applying it wherever I need it, underneath my eyes, around my mouth, and on any blemishes that I have on my skin. Since my skin isn't as oily in the winter as it is in summer, I'm going to use two separate products. So I'm using a mattifying powder first with a small powder brush and I'm going to focus that only on the T-zone area and then using an ambient lighting powder, I'm going to set the under eye concealer with that. Now we're going to move on to contouring and since this is a holiday makeup look, maybe you'll use it on Christmas or for a party, I'm going to do some contour using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow and as you can see it just blends out so beautiful and it doesn't look too orange on my skin which is a problem sometimes with bronzing powders but this is just perfect. I love this. So I applied a little bit more contour than usual. I went around my forehead, along my jawline, the cheekbones, and if you need any help with blending out, just grab your powder blush and just buff away. <laughs> that will get rid of any harsh edges that you have on your contour. And I'm also going to contour my nose. This is something that I do very rarely, but I if it's a special occasion, I'll do it. So the only thing that I do is just grab a smaller dense brush and just go along my nose, so the sides of my nose, a little bit on the tip of the nose, and then just apply the excess on the nostrils, if you have wide nostrils. Now let's move on to the eyes and I'm going to get started with this light taupe eyeshadow from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and I'm going to place this on the crease of my eyes just blending it out. This is going to act as our transition color. Now using an eyeshadow that's very similar to your skin tone, apply it underneath the brows just to blend out that taupe eyeshadow a little bit further. Now I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury The Rock Chick <laughs> eyeshadow palette and using the really light shimmery taupe shade I'm going to place that all over the mobile eyelid area. Now using the deeper and very rich taupe eyeshadow I'm going to place this on the outer corners of my eyes so creating that outer V and kind of dragging it a little bit on the crease not too much just a little bit. Then I went back with just a little bit more of that eyeshadow and just focused it only in the outer corner, that's it. Just to make it a little bit more darker, a little bit more smoky. And now that we're done with the eyeshadow, we can move on to the lashes. I'm going to use the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. On my brows, I'm using a brand new product by Glossier. It's the Boy Brow. I'm going to dedicate a video all about this product, but I'm loving it. <laughs> and now we're moving on to blush because I somehow forgot to apply it after contouring. I'm using the Mood Exposure Blush by Hourglass, of course. And now using the 
the highlight shade in the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. Before applying the lipstick, I'm going to line my lips using Creature Lippy Pencil by ColourPop, which is a great match for the lipstick that I'm going to use by Marc Jacobs. It is called Blow, but if you don't have the money to spend on Blow, you can get the Creature Lippy Sticks or you can get Black Cherry from Revlon. Both of them are really great dupes, but this color by Marc Jacobs is absolutely stunning and with the lip liner underneath, it lasted pretty much the whole day. Some of you have been asking for hair tutorials, but to be honest, I really don't do anything. This is third day here. I'm working with my natural hair texture. I parted my hair on the side, kind of diagonally, tucked my hair behind one ear, and just kind of scrunched it up with a lot of dry shampoo because it was a little bit oily. But that's pretty much it for this look. It is such a simple look, and it's a little bit different from your standard red lip and just winged out eyeliner. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the makeup look that I'm wearing in pretty much all my social media pictures from Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all those pictures. This is the look that I was wearing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments below what you plan to do makeup wise for your holidays. So yeah, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye! and contour that I'm wearing today and this is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Film Star Bronze and Glow which looks like this. And the packaging for this is absolutely stunning. Can we just